Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, can I introduce to you Marion Coop, the chairman of Living St Anne's Civic Society. Um, welcome, everybody. Uh, we are absolutely delighted to be uh, to be doing this. I think it's the jolliest blue plaque we've ever put on, and uh, it, 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 it's not the wettest. But um, before we have our um, unveiling, I just want to say um, a few thank yous. Um, thank you to um, the Mayor, Councillor Heather Speak, and the, the Mayoress, Mrs Jen Robinson, and the Town Mayor of St Anne's, who has disappeared over there somewhere, there she is, um, Councillor Angela Jakes. And they'll all be doing a joint unveiling. Um, and uh, I'd just like to thank everybody for, for turning up, in, and in particular, of course, the, uh, the members of the George Formby Society, who've, um, <laughs> who've already entertained us wonderfully. And, um, and, and will again. Uh, I had a look, I saw some of them um, performing on YouTube last night, so uh, perhaps this event will be on there as well. Be good. Um, I'd like to thank Peter Fairclough, who actually lives here. Um, he's over there with the green jumper on. And thank you, Peter. <laughs> thank you for having all our muddy feet in your garage and possibly your house even, um, and entertaining us so well. And um, being so pleased to have the plaque on, on the house. Uh, we put it on the wall so that people... Uh, Perhaps wouldn't wander up to the house quite so much, but I'm not so sure whether that will work, really. Um, so, uh, anyway, it's a great privilege to be here. And um, it brings back a, quite a chunk of St Anne's history, really. Because, uh, of course, there were lots of showbiz people living in St Anne's in the middle of the last century. Um, I'd also like to thank um, Margaret Race of um, Blackwood's rock factory which is the oldest family rock manufacturer in Blackpool and we have here a box of little sticks of Blackpool rock <laughs> for everybody to take home <laughs> that's uh, depends on the state of your teeth I suppose <laughs> anyway um, we are delighted to be doing this um, because George Formby of course one of, was one of the mega stars of the 20th century um, and he lived in St Anne's. So we're very proud of that fact as well. So you'll see the plaque shortly. Um, you might be interested in the curtain, uh, which is covered in polythene anyway, but it's a curtain that was used by Princess Diana to unveil something in Manchester, I hear. Uh, so we have our special curtain too. So <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll leave you to uh, enjoy the music in a minute. Um, did you want to say anything Whose phone is that? Mine. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. So, um, did you want to say anything or do you want to do the unveiling? It's entirely up to you. Right. Well, we're going to have to dash out and unveil it quickly and dash back again. Yeah. So, that's perhaps what we better do next. Okay, right. Thank you. There's a young lady who wants, wants to talk to you. For the mayor. Right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My glasses, Hello. Are, my glasses are steaming up. <laughs> it's wet, isn't it? Right. Well, thank you, everybody, for being here today, and thank you to Lytham St. Anne's Civic Society uh, for organising this event. It's a pity the sun isn't shining, but we can't do anything about the weather. Over the years, the Civic Society have placed blue plaques throughout the area to commemorate buildings and people, preserving the history and heritage of Lytham St Anne's and the Fylde Coast. The heritage of St Anne's is associated with show business because of the close proximity to Blackpool, which is very good for us. Now I'm delighted to be here today at this unveiling. Uh, the blue plaque to George Formby, a much loved musical comedian, a very popular star who entertained thousands, made us all laugh, sing, and most of all, smile. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.